your first step would be to catch some fish so we already went ahead and did that before you start you should always have a super sharp fillet knife it's short sturdy so i can cut through bones if i need to okay, let's go ahead and fillet this fish i forgot to mention too this white perch has been sitting on ice so that helps me really like when i cut it down i can lift up the meat super easily if you don't know the anatomy of white perch they have really big rib cages. I start from up here, because there's still a lot of meat right here, you can see. A lot of meat you can capture from cutting from up top. Cut around the rib cages by cutting at a 45 degree angle right here, around the rib cages. Cut down. Like I mentioned, since the meat is very cold, I can just lift my knife and flay down. Just glide on top of those bones and then work your way down leave some skin here so you can flay off the meat look how clean that is take the flay off here let the knife do the work just push one clean cut super easy just like that went ahead and cut the ribs off here plenty of meat but you can see these are all rib cages right here. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And they're really big, so that's why I cut around them. Pretty clean fish too. Here's a close up of its bones. Pretty straight, doesn't curve up. So you can just run your fillet knife straight down the back or the tail. The only issue is you gotta cut around that rib cage. That's why I cut straight right here to avoid all that. But yeah, that's how you fillet a white perch and you just gotta rinse and repeat the process. Mm -hmm. 